I'm to present the yield port presence in the Nordics and try to explain some of our, some of our green solutions and also highlight how we can support our mutual goal in converting cargo from road to sea. So I will start off with a brief overview of the Nordic Yieldport Nordic portfolio. As of today, we have a presence in Norway with a container terminal in Oslo. Uh, we also have a container terminal in Sweden located in Gävle. Along with that container terminal, we have a full service dry bulk terminal and yes, south of Gävle in the northern parts of Stockholm, we have also invested in an intermodal terminal. The general idea behind the investment in the intermodal terminal is to help the balance uh, of the import and export flows throughout Gävle. All in all, for the region, we have a capacity of 875,000 TUs, and in terms of general cargo, we can handle roughly 3 million tons. So we'll take you through our portfolio. I'm going to start off with the uh, Gävle dry bulk terminal. In the terminal, we handle all kinds of cargo. It's everything from windmills to scrap. Uh, and in terms of commodities, we're very heavy on paper products, sawn timber, and uh, steel products. For steel, we have invested in a CFS steel uh, warehouse. It's approximately 10,000 square meters. Uh, we handle high numbers of steel yearly, roughly around 200,000 tons. It's equipped with overhead cranes, which makes it very uh, efficient. And due to the, the cranes, it allows us to, to handle more or less all type of steel products. In this terminal, we have also invested in a CFS paper warehouse. That's a high base storage facility, fully automatic, built for the paper producers in the region. It handles paper rolls and it's also super efficient, uh, makes it possible to handle a high yearly throughput in a very dense and small area. Uh, both these investments are built on the back of growing customer, growing customer demands and, and with our will to, to really serve our regional markets. All in all, in, in Gävle, we can offer 120,000 of square meters indoor storage. So that keeps us very flexible, it helps us grow with our customers, and we can pretty much offer any type of long or short time uh, storage solutions for the customer. We have knowledge that that has been a crucial part to attract cargo and cargo owners to this area. In terms of stuffing and, and stripping, I would say first and foremost, that's an important task to actually feed the container terminal with over key volumes. Uh, it's especially important at this point because we are investing heavily in our container terminal in Yable. We're actually building a brand new key wall. We have invested in three new SDS cranes. Uh, we also invested in six RTG cranes. So the new increased capacity will reach 600,000 TUs. And it's a double in capacity, one should mention. The allowed draft is 12.2 meters. Well, we have the old draft of um, 10 meters. So this enables us to handle more and larger vessels. Uh, in reality, it means that we could handle up to four ships at the same time. We have also taken advantage of the recently past year's demand of uh, border control for food imports. And this also is on the back of trying to enable carriers and shipping lines to find more imports through Yavla and really help balancing that out. Uh, at this terminal, we also have a great rail track connectivity. Uh, with the old VSGs, we can handle uh, and discharge vessel and put the units on our train shuttle. And that train shuttle then takes us to Stockholm North. So Stockholm North, as I mentioned beginning, that's the intermodal terminal that we invested in. And this is really to help balancing the import and export flows. The general idea behind this investment is to help carrier and shipping lines having a full round trip through Gävle. So the purpose is that we discharge a full unit in the Gävle container terminal. Uh, we put it on the rail shuttle, uh, which now departs three times a week. Our goal is to bring that up to each day. So the train shuttle takes the full unit down to Stockholm North, where it's discharged and uh, only a last mile delivery is to be made by rubber wheels. So this is a solution for us, it's a greener, more efficient solution that we hope to bring more cargo off the roads and over to the key wall and to the rail solutions. 
once the unit is stripped at the cargo owner's uh, site, it will be bring, brought back to the intermodal terminal and then put on the same shuttle back to, to Yavl. So the general idea here is that we can enable a full round trip through Yavle and we can avoid having trucks going all the way across Stockholm for the northern parts. Because as we, we see it, we see a natural split in the, in the Stockholm market where we can serve the northern parts. And it's important for us to have presence here because we have identified that half of the Swedish consumption takes place in this region. So that's why it's critical for us to, to be able to serve our customers in this area. The capacity in this terminal is roughly 200,000 TUIs, and we have a terminal area of 80,000 square meters. And the fine thing here is once the unit, empty unit, is delivered back to the container terminal, we can then inspect it, we can clean it, and we can make it ready for your export bookings. So on the back of the export bookings, we have identified in the region, this is the hinterland of Gävle, where we see a steel uh, production of 5.5, nearly 5.5 million tons of steel. Total volume of paper and pulp is up to 5.9 million tons. And sawn timber is somewhere around 5.3 million tons. And of course, all of these volumes are not destined for, for a short sea solution, but among this, we have identified short sea volumes. We do know and we do see tracks going from Gävle to Poland. And from my perspective, I think that's a great opportunity that we can work together with the short sea carriers and uh, in a mutual way, reach out to the customer, present them flexible and uh, effective short sea solution. And we're glad to, to help with that. So lastly, we have the Oslo terminal. Mike will tell you more about the success story that we have had with uh, especially the short sea segment. Uh, I will briefly mention that the capacity for this terminal is 275,000 TUIs. Terminal area is roughly 140,000 TUIs. In warehousing, it's a bit more limited than to Yavle, but we can still offer these services. And uh, as mentioned, the, the success of, of short sea has been uh, uh, very strong and it keeps growing for each year and Mike will tell you more about it in the in the presentation upcoming. Um, so that's what I had to say about Gilport Nordic, Gilport presence in, in the Nordic region and uh, to start mentioning and bring up ideas on how we together with carriers can bring more cargo off out of roads and into the sea. Thank you.